Albany with more than $26 million in his campaign kitty, accomplishments to point to and good poll numbers, gov. Cuomo should be cruising into his re-election year in the bluest of blue states. The myriad storm clouds hang over the trois-term Democrat heading into the new year. The federal corruption trials of several close associates, an ongoing FBI investigation into his administration, a looming state budget deficit of at least $4.4 billion, subway system problems, as well as continued anger from the left all represent potential potholes for a governor who not only is seeking a third term, but is believed to have presidential ambitions. I can't disagree with any of that, said Siena College pollster Stephen Greenberg. There's no question he is the front-runner, but with an election, ten months away, nothing is a given and his re-election is certainly not a certainty. The governor on Jan. 3 will deliver his eighth state of the state address. Days later begins the corruption trial of Joseph Percaso, a former top aide and close friend who Cuomo has described as his father's third son. Percaso, who just four years ago served as Cuomo's campaign manager and chief political enforcer, is accused of taking bribes from entities with state business. Cuomo, who has not been accused of wrongdoing, has met with federal investigators. He said recently he does not expect to testify nor does he believe what unfolds in the courtroom will be a distraction. But the trial, and what comes out about how the Cuomo administration works, will be closely watched, Greenberg and others say. It remains to be seen how much it impacts Cuomo since his poll numbers did not take a hit when the indictments were handed down in 2016. Much of the public's attention also has been focused more on President Trump in Washington, several say. Another trial involving other former Cuomo aides and associates accused of bid rigging and corruption tied to some of the governor's upstate economic development projects is slated to begin in the spring. Meanwhile, an FBI probe into the Cuomo administration's hiring practices continues. Aides to the governor have dismissed it as absurd and a charade. On top of all that, Cuomo in mid January must present a budget plan in a year that promises to be the most challenging since he first took office in 2011 facing a $10 billion deficit. With various federal policies from tax reform to health care cuts potentially adding to the state's fiscal woes, all eyes will be on how the governor and legislature go about filing the budget hole, including smaller school aid increases than during Cuomo's first seven years in office and potential cuts to health care and other areas of the budget. Another challenge politically for the governor comes from his own party. Those on the left continue to distrust Cuomo, who likely will face a Democratic primary opponent four years after little known and underfunded Fordham law. Professor Zephyr Teach out captured 34% in a surprisingly strong challenge against Cuomo. A recent plan to reunify the fractured state Senate Democrats put forward by Cuomo allies and supported by the governor, and accepted by the two warring sides DIDNT quelled that unrest. Liberal activists groused because it would likely leave the Republicans in control of the chamber through the budget negotiations. But perhaps the biggest threat to Cuomo comes from the minor progressive working families and Green parties. Green Party rules do not allow for the cross-endorsement of major party candidates. The Working Families Party almost backed a different candidate than Cuomo in 2014 until a deal was brokered with the help of Mayor de Blasio, now a chief political foe of the governor. If both minor parties each nominate candidates other than Cuomo, it could siphon enough votes that a Republican would need less than 50 percent to score a major upset victory, many Democrats and Republicans agree. Cuomo has already scored the Independence Party nomination. Cuomo spokesman Richard Azapardi scoffed at the notion that the governor is facing potential pitfalls in his re-election year. Even in the brightest sunlight, some people can only see the shadows. Merry Christmas Ken, Azapardi said.